Welcome back to Animation Recommendations and today I want to talk about a short film called Substance, directed and written by Jamal Bradley. I was very fortunate to have seen this movie this Friday and I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to spread the word about it because it's really, really good. I wish I could go into all the story elements and the things that really grab me, but it's a spoiler. So I can't really talk about too much. I wanna keep it vague enough. Well, let me back up. So this was written, directed and produced by Jamal Bradley. And if you don't know him, he's had a very long career in his industry, working on so many different things in terms of features and game development, and now directing a short. And the team he's assembled for this short is also massively talented. So you can see you have Jamal as the director and writer. You have Michael Yates as the co-writer, lead story artist who comes from Pixar. You have Bruce W. Smith as the producer, and the list goes on. It's a ton of super, super talented artists working on the short. Now, what you could watch is the teaser. And again, I'm gonna link to the Cartoon Brew interview, and on that, you have a teaser that doesn't really give away the central story, but it introduces you to the characters, and also gives you a really quick insight into the animation quality of the short. And given that I love animation, I mean, that's something I can talk about without spoiling things. The attention to detail to the face and the fingers and just the general interaction between the characters is absolutely fantastic. And again, I'll have a link in the description to this clip, but you can see in those facial tests, the amount of detail, the, the, you know, the organic squishiness and the fine detail in the uh, facial animation that really allows for very, very expressive pantomime. And I say pantomime because the other thing that's really, really cool is that as the short starts, and again, no spoilers, there's background sound. You see the streets and you can see this in the teaser when he walks, you have sound of the cars and people behind it and it starts traditionally with sound design and so on and then you're wondering well for me at least when people start talking how you know what are the voice actors how is the sound quality of the mics the recording all of that can kind of make or break a short or a movie for me sound is super super important so i was very curious about how he was going to implement that and the awesome thing is that there is actually no dialogue that you can hear because the moment the characters talk there's music that kicks in with lyrics and the music and the lyrics supplement the feelings and the emotions of the characters but you can also just turn the whole thing off and play the whole short without sound and it still works and the other thing that was interesting right after i saw the short i texted jamal and told him my impressions and then you know what the things that that i got out of the short and what i interpreted and funny enough i was wrong about a couple things that i interpreted but the awesome thing was that it didn't change the central story and the impressions and the message of the short i thought that was really interesting and because of my cultural background being different i will see things in interpret things differently. So depending on who you are, you get, will get more or less out of this short. But the cool thing is that it was still powerful and it resonated with me on a different level, but the main message and the main impact of the short was the same. And I think that's really interesting and speaks to the quality of the short, that despite those differences in, in, in interpretations of, and again, I can't spoil it in terms of whatever, I can't spoil it, it still worked. Man, I wish I could talk about the actual story. But what's also cool is I'm a massive fan of this, is that it's a heavier subject matter and it's just something that I'm always a big fan of that you don't always have to have fantastical elements or talking animals or whatever in feature animation. There's always, I don't know who said this first, but if you can shoot a live action, why animate it? I understand that there's a cost involved in animation and it's painstakingly slow and you gotta go frame by frame. It's probably easier to shoot something, even this short live action. But to me, it's always why? If you have a good story to tell, if there's a good message, why not tell it within that medium of animation? Because it's not a genre, it's just a style of telling a story. And you may or may not agree with this, and to be honest, I don't care because that's just, I love animation and I wanted to tell different stories. And it doesn't always have to be in the same family friendly, I will say genre. And I think this short really does that. And I wish that you could take this and, uh, and extrapolate it into a feature movie and have more of that. But I could talk about this forever. I really, really, really like the short. And it's not because I got the chance to watch it. I'm not doing anybody a favor just by pretending. I really did like the short and I hope that you can see it. Now you're wondering, well, where can I see it? Good question. I will go onto Jamal's Twitter, again, link in the description, where he retweets and promotes the short. It's screening at the Newark Theater in West Los Angeles. But I would follow Jamal. You can always contact him and ask him about future screenings. He will know everything about the marketing side. So if you have a chance to go watch it there or check anywhere to go watch it i highly highly recommend that you watch the short spread the word it's fantastic let's support him let's support the short let's support all the people involved in this i highly highly recommend it and thanks jamal again for the opportunity to 
let me watch it. It was absolutely fantastic. It's just something I'm very passionate about and I really, really hope it does well and changes people's minds in terms of what you can do with animation and the types of stories that you can tell. But I'm gonna stop rambling. Again, all the links in the description, go in the description. You can see his Twitter, the websites of the shore, all the things that you need to know. Again, don't go too far into the interviews, spoilers. But anyway, that's it. Go watch it if you can. And that's all I'm gonna say.